We got action. We got action. Well, not really, because this ain't a reaction video. This is more of a breakdown of the Kendrick Lamar versus Drake beef, man. I can't do a reaction because obviously I already heard it, but I want to break it down and tell y'all why I feel how I feel about this beef, all right? Now, we all know Kendrick Lamar won this beef. There's this not a debatable. Kendrick won, all right? But I think this is one of the best beefs of the 21st century simply because it was that close. And I do feel like Drake could have won this beef. You know what I'm saying? So I'm going to break these songs down and I want to really explain the determining factors of how Drake lost this beef, why Kendrick won it. I want to tell y'all where the where the tides turn, man, where, where the dub was won, where the West was won. You know, I had to wear my Laker colored death row shirt and represent for the West, man, because Kendrick Lamar and them put it down like a night or two ago on the pop out. So I got to represent, you know, I'm a West Coaster myself. I'm from the Bay, but still, man, it's California over everything. You feel me? So first of all, I want to explain that I am not biased at all. I don't care where Kendrick Lamar is from. OK, I'm going to be honest. <laughs> I'm an underground head. I'm a hardcore head. I like hardcore rap. I like Vinny Pass, Jedi Mind Tricks type of rap. Big L, you know what I mean? Slim Shady, you know what I mean? Red Man, things like that, you know what I mean? Um, I really like the funnier rap. I really like the punchline-y, like, over-the-top rap. That's my type of thing. So I don't listen to a lot of Kendrick Lamar or Drake, you know what I mean? Um, I do recognize their talents. They're both really good. But they're just not my cup of tea. I honestly feel like Kendrick Lamar and Drake say things that women would say. For example, like Drake says, somebody said that I fell off. Ooh, I needed that. Like, when I first heard that line, I'm like, I could see a woman with long ass nails in a car like, ooh, I needed that. So I don't gravitate towards their music very much. And Kendrick Lamar kind of does the same thing. Be humble. Sit down. Be humble. Like, that. that is something, you know what I mean? But this battle was fire. <laughs> you know what I mean? So let's get into it. First up, we got Kendrick Lamar on Future and Metro Boomin' song like that. This is where he fired the first shot, the warning shot, the shot heard around the world. This is what started the beef right here. And we're going to get into it. I'm going to skip Future's verse because it is totally irrelevant. He's saying things like, she gonna fuck for a name. Uh, she gonna fuck for a chain. I don't wanna hear that shit, all right? Let's get straight to the drama. Kendrick, what you gotta say about Drake? <laughs> what you gotta say about Drake? Come on. These niggas talking out of their neck. Don't put no coughing out of your mouth. I'm way too paranoid for a threat. Hey, hey, let's get it, bro. D.O.T., the money, power, respect. The last one is better. Say yes, a lot of goofies with a check. I mean, oh, I hope them sentiments symbolic. Oh, my tip. What is that sound? Oh, what is that sound, bro? That is a woman. What did I just say? These niggas be sounding like bitches. I swear to God. But it's cool, though, because bitches love it. There's a bitch in her car. like I mean, like, oh, there's a girl in her car right now singing that right now. So I can't hate. I can't hate. It just come on now. All right, let's go. Remember Polar choose violence. Okay, let's get it up. It's time for him to prove that he's a problem. Niggas clicking up, but they not be legit. No 40 water top. Bars. He's saying that J. Cole and Drake is clicking up because they made that first person shooter song. But he's saying they could never be legit. No 40 water. Be legit as a rapper from California. You know what I mean? From the Bay. Be legit in the E40. 40 water. You know what I'm saying? They, they make a lot of songs together. One of my favorites is um, Ain't Hard to Find on Tupac's All Eyes on Me. Um, yeah. So I like that punch. I like that. I like that. Hello. 
yeah, huh, yeah, get up with me, fuck sneak this and first person shooter, I hope they came with three switches, I crash out like fuck rap, this many mail if I had two, got two T's with me, I'm snatching chains and burning tattoos, it's he said, first person shooter, I hope they came with three switches. Y'all know what a switch is, right? Not the Nintendo, the switch that modifies handguns into being fully automatic, highly illegal, fed time. But also, he said, I would diss Melly Mel if I had to, which I think, like, you know, y'all remember Eminem just dissed Melly Mel, which was bold. Like, Eminem went against one of the forefathers, one of the creators of hip-hop, you know what I mean? One of, the, one of them forefathers, man. So uh, I wonder if that was an Eminem thing right there. Uh, I would diss Millie Mel if I had to. You know what I mean? Like, that's is you saluting Shady? Like, you know what I mean? Shady salved out. He did what he had to against Melly Mel. I, I picked that up on first listen right there. Rap this Melly Mel if I had to. Got two T's with me. I'm snatching chains and burning tattoos. It's up. Lost too many soldiers not to play it safe. If he walk around with that stick, it ain't Andre 3K. Think I won't drop. Andre 3K? If he walk around with that stick, it ain't Andre 3K, because Andre 3000 walk around with that flute. I did not like his flute album, by the way. I wanted to. I was hoping it would be like Zelda levels of music, but it wasn't. Just not to play it safe. If he walk around with that stick, it ain't Andre 3K. Think I won't drop the location. I still got PTSD. Motherfuck the big three. Nigga, it's just big me. Nigga, boom. That was a three-pointer right there. Because Drake and J. Cole was hollering that Big Three stuff on their song. Like, the Big Three is Drake, Kendrick, and J. Cole. And those three have been in the conversation of who is the biggest rapper uh, right now. You know what I'm saying? So Kendrick took that. That was supposed to be respect, Kendrick. Drake and them was trying to show you some respect with that, with the Big Three, man. So it's I love it that Kendrick chose violence on that. He's like, Big Three? <laughs> yeah, right. Like, he's on some competitive stuff. Like... You know what I'm saying? Big three, my ass, motherfucker. It's just big me. You gotta respect it. Got PTSD, motherfuck the big three. Nigga, it's just big me, nigga. Boom. I'm really like that. And your best work is a light pack, nigga. Prince outlive my jack. Oh. So I guess uh people, I don't know anything about this, but I'm guessing people compare Drake and Kendrick to like Michael Jackson versus Prince, you know what I'm saying? And he's like, Prince outlived Mike Jack. I don't know about that conversation, but it registers in my mind. It's like, I don't need to do the research. I get it. That's a cool, that's a cool punch. Your dog's getting buried. That's a K with all these nines. He gonna see Pet Cemetery, nigga. A K with all these nines? He gonna see Pet Cemetery K9? A K is an AK, a nine millimeter handgun? You know what I mean? That's a K with all these nines. He gonna see Pet Cemetery. Yeah. After Kendrick dropped that, J. Cole dropped the disc. We not gonna listen to it because J. Cole was talking a bunch of gunplay and a bunch of my goons is on standby. Then he got on stage and he apologized and he deleted his song. So, eh, go fold some clothes, nigga. We done with you. All right, next up, we got Drake push-ups. This is a direct response to Kendrick Lamar and a bunch of other people who was at the time taking shots at Drake. I think this shit is fire. Let's play it. No Come on. Come on. Fight back. Hey, I can never be nobody number one fan. Your first number one, I had to put it in your hand. You put Hold on, bro. I want to know. I want to know. Hold on, man. Hold on, bro. I want to look it up. Kendrick Lamar's first number one record. Is that true? Kendrick Lamar's first number one. Lamar's work on the remix of Taylor Swift's Bad Blood garnered his first number one song on the Billboard Hot 100. So is Drake lying? Is Drake lying? Kendrick Lamar's first number one was with Taylor Swift. It's not with Drake. I just looked it up. I don't know, bruh. Is you lying? Is you lying on the sword of truth, Drake? Like, that's your first bar. What song is he talking about, man? Hold on, man. Hold on. I gotta, I gotta figure this out. Kendrick Lamar featuring Drake. Do they have a song together? Poetic Justice. Uh. Poetic Justice Billboard. 
Nah, bro. That peaked at number 26. Number eight on the R&B and hip hop songs. It did not go number one. You lied. You fucking lied on your first bar. It sounded good, though, nigga. It sounded good. But you lying, nigga. All right, let's hear this. <laughs> hey, I can never be nobody number one fan. Your first number one, I had to put it in your hand. Lie! Pussies can't get booked outside America for Nan. I'm out in Tokyo because I'm big in Japan. Cool. I'm the head maker, y'all depend on. Backstage in my city, it was friend zone. Okay, you are no shit. Never take no chain off of us. How the fuck you be stepping with a size seven man zone? Relax, Drake. I, I got little shoes too, nigga. I, <laughs> hey, that was a decent. I like that. That was a decent punch right there. I like that. How you big stepping with a size seven men's on? I mean, I wear a nine, y'all. I ain't no size seven. You know, I'm a little nigga, but I ain't no size seven. Let me find out. Kendrick is a size seven. <laughs> Take no chain off of us. How the fuck you be stepping with a size seven man zone? Bar. Just a part with the bite, nigga. What's up? I know my picture on the wall when y'all cook up. Extortion, baby. Hope for red. You been shook up. This top told you drop and give me 50 likes of push ups. Wow. You heard that? He said your whole career been extortion because Top, his manager, uh, Top Dog Entertainment, told you to drop and give me 50 like some push-ups 50% that's what he's saying a split so so drake is saying bro you give 50% of everything you make to to top dog entertainment or whatever i like that bro you really talking right now that's that's talk Pushing baby hope for red you been shook up this top so you drop and give me 50 like some push ups okay. cool your last one brick you really not on shit they make excuses for you cuz they hate to see me lit pull your contract cuz right. we got to see the split the way you doing splits bitch your pants might rip i like that. Do that pull the contract let us see the splits <laughs> you splitting so much your pants might rip i like that bro he's roasting him I get that. I feel that. You really not on shit. They make excuses for you because they hate to see me lit. Pull your contract because we got to see the split. The way you doing splits, bitch, your pants might rip. You better do that motherfucking show inside the bitty. Maroon 5 need a verse. You better make it witty. Then we need a verse for the Swifties. Top say <laughs> drop. You better drop and give them 50. I like it. Pips it was cool. Pipe down. You ain't in no big three. Scissor got you wiped down. Travis got you wiped down. Savage got you wiped down. Like your label, boy, you in a scope right now. Okay. He said you not in the big three, bro. Scissor got you wiped down. Travis Scott got you wiped down. And insert any random person got you wiped down. None of that is true, but it sounds good. Until he says, like your label, I'm you in the scope right now. Uh-uh, Drake. Nah, uh 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 I can't give you the point for that, bro. Cause that is a played ass scheme. Inner scope, you in the scope? Like, no, bro. Like, we all heard that before, bro. Like, either like if you watch battle rap, you've heard it a million times. Or if you listen to the Eminem and MGK beef, you know what I'm saying? So you got me in the scope, but like, come on, the inner scope shit is dead. No more. Don't ever say it again. Nobody. Listen, you. No inner scope. Uh, no. Don't say it no more. Inner scope, inner scope. No. Stop it. Put it down. Put your pen down. Don't write it. It's done. It's played. Drake, you shit the bed with that one. Got you wiped down. Savage got you wiped down. Like your label, boy, you in a scope right now. And you gon' feel the aftermath of what I write down. I'm at the top of the mountain, so you tight now. Just aftermath. Just that talk with your ass, I had to hike down. Huh. Big difference between Mike then and Mike now. I like that. Just to have this. He said, I'm on the top of the mountain right now. Just to have this talk with your ass, I had to hike down. I like that. I like it. What the fuck is this a 20 v one nigga? What's a prince to a king? He a son nigga. Give wow. him love in a city that you find nigga. Metro, shut your whole ass up and make some drums nigga. <laughs> that was a three. That was a three point shot right there. Metro, shut your whole ass up and make some drums nigga. That shit should have been on t-shirts. Like for real. That's hilarious, Drake. That's hilarious. That's hilarious. I fuck with that. But I'm going to keep it a buck. When I first heard this, and I put this on all, I, I put this on everything I love. I put this on all my kids in this house right now. On my first listen, when I heard Drake say this is a 20v1, I swear to y'all, I was like, man, that's funny because Drake has writers. 
I thought that, I swear, I thought that the first time I heard this Drake diss, I'm like, a 20v1, but you the nigga with 100 writers, you know what I mean? Now, later on in the beef, Kendrick literally says that. And I was like, mind blown, because I'm like, yo, that's what I was thinking. But anyways, let's keep going. Love in a city that you find, nigga. Metro, shut your whole ass up and make some drums, nigga. Yeah, I'm the six guy, I'm the front runner. Y'all nigga manager was Chuz, little blunt runner. Funny. Clean a six and you boys ain't even come from it. And when you boys got rich, you had to run from it. Cook cash, blowing able bread, I hit trick. He just, he just cooked Metro Boomer right there. Yeah, I hit Shit we do for bitches, he doing for niggas. Pause. Jets, whips, chains, wicked, 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 wicked. wicked. Spinning like you trying to fuck, boy, you tripping, boy, you tripping. Drizzy chipping Dale, probably got your bitch in nail. I just got him done, boy, don't make me at the chipping nail, bro. That's the shit I'm talking about. What the fuck you just say? Take your bitch to Chippendale. I just got him done. Don't make me have to chip a nail. Come on, bro. You sound like a bitch. The fuck you talking about Chip and Nail in a motherfucking rap battle? When he said that, I pictured a nigga with a man bag and a nail filer, like in some cornrows, just sitting there, just filing his fucking nails down. No, not in a battle, bro. Not in a battle. Is he chipping Dale? Probably got your bitch in nail. I just got him done. Boy, don't make me at the chipping nail. Rolling loud stage. I would turn. That was slick as hell. Should have probably changed if it be him. Start to kiss and tell. Cause okay. kisses, man. Don't tell me about no switches. I'll be rocking every fucking chain I own next visit. Hey. That, that was, hey, if his girl kiss and tell, that was foreshadowing to like what he really had, like some of the ammo he had. Cause as you see later on in the beef, he started talking about Kendrick's uh, fiance and shit like this. That was some foreshadowing. Cousin kisses, man, don't tell me about no switches. I'll be rocking every fucking chain I own next visit. Hey, I'll be with some bodyguards like Whitney. Top say, drop your little midget ass, better fuck it. I'll be with some bodyguards like Whitney. That was also so, so Kendrick's girl's name is Whitney. And he's foreshadowing again because I believe he accused Whitney of fucking with somebody from Kendrick's camp the bodyguard or something like this, one of the security or something like this. So that was foreshadowing still. <laughs> in that fucking song, y'all got to not start the beef with us. This shit being brewing in a pot now, I'm heating up. I don't care what cold think that dot shit was weak as fuck. Hmm. Champagne tripping, he is not fucking easing up. So he just dissed J. Cole. He said, he said, I ain't I ain't J. Cole, man. That dot shit was weak as fuck. Cause J. Cole apologized to Kendrick Lamar and said, Man, whatever you want to do, man, you I take it on the chin, please. Just so I fuck with Drake. For, for spinning the block on J. Cole, bro, like that. My homie Crowder was telling me that around the time this beef started, J. Cole and Drake were on tour together. And Kendrick threw out them shots. J. Cole was still on tour with Drake, and he dropped his diss track. And as soon as Drake left the tour, or as soon as the tour was over and J. Cole was alone, he lost all that energy. He did not keep that same energy when he was next to Drake. And he got on stage and apologized to Kendrick. So imagine being Drake. You hyping J. Cole up and J. Cole hyping you up. And as soon as you leave, J. Cole is copping please with the ops. That's crazy. J. Cole, bro. I'm sorry. I'm trying to look for some, some clothes for you to fold right now. Here we go. I got something for you. <laughs> Cole, I got something for you, Mike. <laughs> Do me a solid, Cole. <laughs> I need you to, uh, <laughs> hold on. <laughs> Fold it, nigga! Fold this shit, you bitch ass nigga! You folded, nigga. You folded, nigga. All the. <laughs> All that folding clothes, nigga, you fuck around, fold it yourself, nigga.
Kevin Cole think that dot shit was weak as fuck. Champagne dripping, weak as he fuck. is not fucking easy enough. Nigga calling top to see if top wanna piece it up. Top wanna piece it up. Top wanna piece it up. Okay. Nah, pussy, now you on your own when you speaking up. You don't roll deep to this, you not fucking deep enough. Begging cops and not, boy, you not fucking beating us. Numbers wise, I'm out of here, you not fucking creeping up. Okay. Money wise, I'm out of here, you not fucking sneaking up. Corn by your show money, merch money, feed us. I this shit did not age well, bro, because wow, uh, numbers wise and, and sales wise and everything else wise, like, wow, that nigga Kendrick just left you in the dust after this beef. So, I mean, I thought that was cool. It was all right. It wasn't like crazy punches or nothing. But, uh, for me, I think those couple, you're not fucking keeping up. Something, 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 not fucking, me. nah, bro, they, they, uh. They left you in the dust, my brother, after, right, like, directly after this. <laughs> I like that. Uh oh. Oh my god, bro. Once again, niggas niggas like put their wig on and put their lipstick on and had to channel their inner bitch to make something for the bitches. Like I wish I would see a grown man, bro, talking about some drop, 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 drop. You sound like a bitch on oh my mother, nigga. Like that is but I could see a bitch in the front seat of her car like Shaking her ass, grinding in her seat, like drop, drop, like bro. I swear, like a lot of the elements of these niggas' raps, I just be like, that was something a bitch would do or say right there. <laughs> all right, moving on. This, yo, all right. I think that Drake disc was great. It was fire. He was in a fire pocket. He came with some fire punches. He landed a couple three point shots on niggas. It was dope, bro. Like, he was rapping, rapping. I fucked with that shit, for real. I thought he did great. Now, to me, this is where Drake shit the bed. Right here. Right here. When he decided to do Taylor Made Freestyle and he got AI Tupac and AI Snoop on a song, who the fuck signed off on that, bro? That was the worst thing you could have done. Look, bro, stop. Why don't y'all niggas stop playing with Pac in these rap beefs? Did y'all not learn from Ja Rule, bro? Like, Ja Rule played with Pac, it was over with, bro. Everybody made fun of this nigga for thinking he was Pac. You know what I mean? You can't play with Pac in a beef. Just let that man rest, bro. It is like bad juju. You are gonna lose if you fuck around and bring Pac into your beef. Just stop it. Let's play this shit. Bro, oh my god. Drake, have you ever listened to Pac? Have you ever fucking listened to Pac? Just from that first bar. Like, you made that first bar, like, not rhyme good. And that shit just offended me, bro. Because Pac is, like, top three for me. Like, I love Tupac. That nigga is, like, one of my favorites ever. You know what I mean? So, you can't just play with the Pac flow like that, bro. This is, like, Pac if he was Drake. And it sounds horrible. Just listen to the cadence of the flows, how, like, unorthodox the rhyming is. It's like, why did you make... Like, this is the worst Pac verse I ever heard. Hey, gravy, your name is some hip -hop. Hold on, bring that back. I want y'all to listen.
me and Snoop with our shirt off in the House of Blues just, <laughs> that's crazy. Like, that shit, like, no diddy, bro. Like, what was that? Me and Snoop with our shirts off. <laughs> what? Why? <laughs> Drake, this is weird. <laughs> and then what'd he say? K-Dot, you gotta fuck his bitch. You gotta get abused. It's like, man, bro, yo, you knew this was ass, right? You, you knew this was ass? Did you think he was good? No, I just wanted to play. So you knew you were ass. Yes, I am very ass. <laughs> you knew this was ass, right? All right. Verse sucks. D bro, I'm telling y'all, bro. The battle was even, bro. It was even, bro. I promise you. It was an even fight until this shit dropped, bro. You got to understand, bro. Like, a rap battle is, is, is really about momentum. You know what I mean? Like, who has the momentum? Who said the craziest shit last? Drake, you had the momentum with the push-ups, bro. You lost the momentum fucking around with Pac, the greatest rapper to ever live, bro, and you just desecrated this nigga as a rapper. It was the dumbest shit this nigga could have did. Like the last, this shit is some jambalaya, my nigga. Like the the last parts of this Pac verse is jambalaya, nigga.
ass. Piss ass. Ass. That was fucking horrible, bro. Like, this is where Drake just, like, fucked himself with a spike dildo right here, bro. Like, it, for me, I was like, oh, yeah, nah, shut up. You lost. Like, this is ass. This is trash. Like, what are you doing? You know what I mean? What are you doing? What are you doing? The last diss track was fire, bro. This is ass. This is creek water. <laughs> Fuck were you thinking? You must have bumped your fucking head on your way out the studio. Yeah, shout out to Taylor Swift. Be I think we're done. Like, shout out to Taylor Swift. Nigga, what the fuck were you doing, man? He's begging. He's like, you got we gotta wait one more week. He's like begging Kendrick to speed up his fucking death. Like he's like, please kill me, Kendrick. Please. Please. He didn't even know it. He didn't know that's what he was begging for. That's crazy. Oh, Lord. This gangster in the music game right now. You know, I moved my album when she dropped. I said that already. You know, she about to million. I'm do a milli rock on your head. So you are projecting, right? This is what I take from that. You're telling Kendrick, yeah, Kendrick, we know you finna move your album because Taylor Swift is about to come out. We know that you scared. You don't want to drop because Taylor finna drop. But on the outro, you're saying, yeah, I, I move my album every time Taylor Swift finna drop. So, like, everything you're saying about Kendrick and Taylor Swift is really how you feel about yourself versus Taylor Swift. You know what I'm saying? And that's ass. The fuck is that shit? <laughs> you know what I mean? Tyler, she got the whole PG laying on mute like that Beyonce challenge. Y'all boys quiet for the weekend, like. Die. Oh, brother. This nigga still talk about Taylor Swift. I He had no idea. He, bruh, Drake sounds so fucking crazy on that outro now. It's nasty work. <laughs> he had no idea. Okay, now Kendrick Lamar is about to come with Euphoria. His first actual diss track. The Metro Boomin' shit, that was a warning shot, bro. I don't even know if he said his name on that shit. This right here is the first Kendrick real diss track. Euphoria. Them superpowers get neutralized, I can only watch in silence. The famous actor we once knew is looking paranoid and now spiraling. You I don't like this intro because uh, it's not that it's bad. It's not bad, but um, it just sounds like something my mama would listen to. Like, <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, I could see my mama driving me somewhere and listening to this shit, this, this fucking Jill Scott ass shit right here. <laughs> You know what I mean? <laughs> but he called your ass an actor who's spiraling. Because, you know, Drake was on Degrassi and yada yada. I like that. That's funny. Silence. The famous actor we once knew is looking paranoid and now spiraling. You're moving just like a degenerate. Heavy antique is feeling distasteful. Why calculate you? Not as calculated. I can even predict your angle. Fabricate stories on the family front. Because you heard Mr. Morale. A pathetic master manipulator. I can smell the tales on you now. You're not a rap artist. You're a scam artist with the hopes of being accepted. Tommy Hilfiger stood out. But FUBU never had been your collection. Huh? Wow. <clears throat> that was foreshadowing to the Meet the Gram shit, right? Like he said, FUBU ha had never been in your collection or some shit, right? But the Meet the Grams was that, you know, the album cover, I mean, I'm sorry, the single artwork had that FUBU jersey and the Ozempic and all of this shit that was apparently taken out of a suitcase that belonged to Drake or, or his dad or some crazy shit like that. So that was foreshadowing, kind of. And he is, like, breaking this nigga down in a more truthful way. Like, he's hitting this nigga with the sword of a thousand truths right now. He's hitting me with that shit right now. I just don't like this Jill Scott ass approach. Accept it. Tommy Hilfiger stood out, but Fubu never had been your collection. I make music that electrify him. You make music that pacify him. I can like I could literally see my mama singing that in the car. I make music that electrify him. You make music that pacify him. My mom is like almost 60. <laughs> Double down on that line, but spare you this time. That's random acts of kindness. Know you're a master manipulator and habitual liar, too. 
But don't tell no lie about me, and I won't tell truths about you. Why that shit seem like a woman's Facebook status? Don't tell no lies about me, I won't tell no truths about you. Like, that's what I'm trying to say, bro. These niggas be making, like, quotable shit for women, like, for real. Anyways, though, this shit finna get into the flames. Ooh, but don't tell no lie about me, and I won't tell truths about you. Shoo. I was hoping Shoo. it would change, and it did. Shoo. But it got damn good, too. Shoo. 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 Yeah, I'm out the way, yeah, I'm low, okay, yeah, the island right here is remote, okay, I ain't thinking about no reaper, nigga, I'm reaping what I sow, okay, got a Benjamin and a Jackson all in my house, like I'm Joe, okay, hell cat, met his own boys in them types of LA solo, okay, everybody wanna be demon, till they get chipped by your throwaway, and I might do a show a day, what's a lame, always a lame, oh, you thought the money, the power of fame will make you go away, have you ever played, have you ever, okay, nigga, let's play, have you ever, watch your enemy down, like with a poker face have you he talking that gangster shit right now till you get chipped with a throwaway with a throwaway gun have you ever walked your enemy down with a poker face no like that nigga talking that la gangster shit he went from jill scott harris to motherfucking goddamn motherfucking uh 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 motherfucking og bobby johnson Let's play. Have you ever watch your enemy down like with a poker face? Have you ever paid 500 thou like to an open case? Well, I have, and I feel that both, but I came out straight. I hate when I rap or talk about guns, then somebody die, they turn into nuns, then hop online like pray for my city. He faking for likes and digital hugs. His daddy a killer, he wanna be junior. They must have forgot the shit that they done. Dementia must run in his family, but let it get shaky. I park your son. The very first. He said, that shit must run in your family, but let it get shaky, nigga. I'll park your son. Parkinson's, you know, Parkinson's disease, I'll park your son. That's some battle rap shit. And that's, like, one of the first, like, uh, double entendres we've heard in this battle, I, I believe. God, the shit that they done, dementia must run in his family, but let it get shaky. I park your son. The very first time I shot me a Drake. Oh, he said, he said, dementia must run in his family, but let it get shaky. I'll park your son. He was, wait, hold on, bring that back, huh? Like to an open case, well I have, and I feel that both, but I came out straight. I hate when I rap or talk about guns, then somebody die, they turn into nuns, then hop online, like pray for my city, he faking for likes and digital hugs. His daddy a killer, he wanna be junior, they must have forgot the shit that they done, dementia must run in his- They must have forgot the shit that they done, dementia must run in your family, but let it get shaky, I park your son. That nigga was cooking, bro. Family, but let it get shaky. I park your son. The very first time I shot me a Drake, the homie had told me to aim it this way. I didn't point down enough. Today I show you I learned from those mistakes. I'm oh my fucking god. He must run in his family, but let it get shaky. He took his belt I park off. Your son. You, the very first time I shot me a Drake, the homie had told me to aim it this way. I didn't point down enough. Today I show you I learned from those mistakes. Somebody had told me that you got a ring. Oh god, I'm ready to double the wage. I'd rather do that than let a Canadian nigga make pop turn in his grave. Woo! Ah, he cooking niggas. Look, let me be a buck. So Drake purchased some kind of ring that Tupac owned it was like some Tupac ring you feel me so when he says that like I'm not gonna let a Canadian nigga uh make Pac turn in his grave he's referring to that ring and he's also referring to that fucking horrible AI Tupac song and that's great I love that double the wage I'd rather do that than let a Canadian nigga make Pac turn in his grave cut the finish you got shit twisted Woo. what is it the brakes I hurt your feelings you don't work with me no more okay Comedy animated, like where was this animation on Drake? Shit, I love the anime. Oh, you don't want to work with me? Okay, like I love that animation in the in the booth. Bring that back. Then let a Canadian nigga make Pac turn in his grave. Cut the finish. You got shit twisted. You got what shit is twisted. it? The brakes? I hurt your feelings. You don't work with me no more. Okay. Woo! It's three goes left, and I see two of them kissing and hugging on stage. <laughs> I love them to death, and then eight bars. I'll explain their phrase. <laughs> He said J. Cole and Drake is kiss hugging and kissing on stage. Talk to these niggas. Your feelings, you don't work with me no more. Okay. 
Your story goes left and I see two of them kissing and hugging on stage I love them to death and then eight bars I'll explain their phrase It's not nobody can tell me, I don't wanna talk on no celly You know I got language barriers, it's no accent you can sell me Your cold and I be no, I'm a selfish nigga, the crown is heavy I pray they my real friends, if not I'm Y N W Melly I don't Ooh. like you poppin' That was a three-pointer a lot of three-pointers on this track, but that was a three-pointer because the whole world could understand that line, and it was so good. He said, Cole and Drake ain't fucking with me. I hope they my friend. Cole and Drake supposed to be my friends. I hope they my real friends. If not, I'm YNW Melly. Is a, that's a punch. I love that. That was dope. It's no and it's like universal. Yeah, Everybody understands. You know, I'm a selfish nigga. The crown is heavy. I pray they my real friends. If not, I'm YNW Melly. I don't like you popping shit at Pharrell for him. I inherit the beef. Yeah, fuck all that pushing P. Let me see you push a T. You Let me see you push a T. Ooh. Because we all know the push a T beef that Drake had was one of the first beefs that Drake lost. My inherit the beef. Yeah, fuck all that pushing P. Let me see you push a T. You better have spinning again on him when you think about pushing me. He's Terrence Thorne. I'm Terrence Crawford. Yeah, yeah I'm whooping feet. We ain't gotta get personal. <laughs> this the whooping feet is fucking hilarious, bro. I'm gonna explain it to you. It's LA slang, right? It's LA slang for a motherfucker that got their ass whooped so fucking bad. Like, <laughs> he whooped his feet, you know? Like, just it's just some funny shit, right? Oh, my God. The nigga is cooking, bro. Like, Terrence Thornton, that's Pusha T's real name. Just for anybody who don't know, Terrence Thornton, that's Pusha T. So, like, Kendrick is like, he's Terrence Thornton. Nigga, I'm Terrence Crawford, nigga. <laughs> the boxer? <laughs> I'm whooping feet. That shit is hilarious. You think about pushing me? He's Terrence Thornton. I'm Terrence Crawford. Yeah, I'm whooping feet. We ain't gotta get personal. This a friendly fair. You should keep it that way. I know some shit about niggas that make gonna wanna look like a saint. This Damn, bro. He told him this is a friendly fade. Let's keep it that way. Cause as you can see, like none of the crazy uh accusations or anything, like the whole pedophile shit or none of that. Like the you know. None of that shit has, like, really been explored in the beef yet. So Kendrick literally said, let's keep this a friendly fade. I wish Drake would have because on the next song, Drake starts talking about Kendrick's wife and Kendrick be slapping her up and she might have a baby by another nigga. Drake, you shouldn't have did it, bruh. You shouldn't have did it. You should keep it that way. I know some shit about niggas that make gonna wanna look like a saint. This gonna wanna, he's the nigga from the Young Thug trial, right? YSL, that, I mean, people are accusing him of snitching. We all seen him, bro. He admitted that YSL is a gang, and he admitted to all these things, and he got released. So people like to uh, label him a snitch and shit like that. So that's what Kendrick mean by make gonna wanna look like a, a saint. Ain't been about critics, not about gimmicks, not about who the greatest is. Always been about love and hate. Now let me say, I'm the biggest hater. I hate the way that you walk, the way that you talk. I hate the way that you dress. I hate the way that you sneak this. If I catch flight, it's gonna be direct. We hate the. I like that shit, bro. I like that shit. He's talking about I hate the way that you walk, the way that you talk. I don't think a lot of people understand that that's like a DMX. I think it's a DMX thing, cause I. I remember DMX being on like the Breakfast Club or one of them things where he was talking about how much he hated Drake. I hate the way he talk. I hate the way he sound. I hate everything about him. So I think that that whole I hate this and I hate that was a DMX uh, salute right there. Rest in peace, DMX, by the way. And um, he said, I don't like the I hate the way you throw subliminals. If I catch a flight, it's going to be direct. You know what I mean? I like that. Another punch. Hate the way that you dress. I hate the way that you sneak this. If I catch flight, it's gonna be direct. We hate the bitches you cook. Cause they confuse themselves with real women. No notice I said we. It's not just me. I'm with, with the, the culture, culture feeling. feeling. He is fucking cooking this man. I hate the bitches you fuck. Cause they, they mistake themselves for real women. That's, man, I like that, bro. That was written so fucking well, bro. How many more real women then notice I said we it's not just me I'm with the culture feeling Oh, that was so that was so well put together. How many more fairy tale stories about your life till we had enough? How many more black features till you finally feel that you're black enough? The sword of a thousand troops right now is just like doing a fury of slices. 
I like Drake with the melodies. I don't like Drake when he act tough. You That's another one right there. Oh my God, Drake be acting tough, bro. He be he be standing next to all the G's. He be he got his goons and everything. You know, once you get money, bro, you can do shit like that. But that is not who Drake is, bro. Like, I mean, it might be who he is today, but it's not who we know him for. You know what I mean? It's not it's not what we know you for. You know? It's kind of like the Ja Rule thing. During the Ja Rule beef, they tried to roast him for all the love songs and all of the singing and shit because now he's trying to be gangster and he's like the new Tupac. But his biggest hits were like, you know what I mean? Love songs and shit like this. You know what I mean? And then if you really look into Ja Rule's past, he was a Jehovah's Witness and all of this stuff. You know what I mean? So a lot of people really felt like he was a wankster. You know what I'm saying? So... When Kendrick says that, like, we like we like Drake making the pop records. We don't like Drake when he acting tough. It's because, like, bro, like, you was on Degrassi, bro, fooling. That shit is going to live on for eternity. When you came to the rap game, you was very sensitive. I mean, there's videos of Drake at a fucking dinner when he was younger telling people, oh, don't say that. That sounds ignorant. Like, for real. So, man, Kendrick right now with the sword of a thousand truths. Probably feel that you're black enough. I like Drake with the melodies. I don't like Drake when he act tough. You gon' make a nigga bring back Puff. Let me see if Chubbs really crash something. You're my first one, like my last one. It's a classic. You don't have one. Let your core. Ooh. Because Drake said your last, your your last album bricked, or some shit like he's your last album bricked. You really ain't on shit. Kendrick said, my first one is like my last one. A classic. You don't have one. Man, he is pinning it. Like, he's writing like, really bro. Crash something. Yeah, my first one like my last one. It's a classic. You don't have one. Let your core audience stomach that. Didn't tell them where you get your abs from. Woo! Let your core audience stomach that. Then tell them where you get your abs from. That Ozempic. Man, fuck, man. The past, like... 16 bars have been just non-stop just jays just like curries bro non-stop curries like a flurry of curries bro 12 is a fast one bro, bro, bro. last one Whoa. headshot for the year you better walk around like daft punk Whoa. remember Eight <laughs> he is cooking cuz like you better walk around like daft punk boy you better have a helmet boy we coming for your head. You better start wearing a fucking helmet. That's one headshot for the year. You better walk around like Daft Punk. Remember? Hey, top dog. Who the fuck they think they playing with? Extortion my middle name as soon as you jump off of that plane, bitch. I'm allergic to the lame shit. Only you like being famous. Yaddy can't give you no swag neither. I don't give a fuck about who you hanging with. Huh? I hate the way that you walk, the way that you talk. I hate the way that you dress. Surprise, you wanted that future request. You know that we got some shit to address. I even hate when you say the word nigga. But that's just me, I guess. Some shit just cringeworthy. You ain't even gotta be deep, I guess. Still, I like that, bro. Like, I hate when you say the N-word, man. That's really putting a nigga in a, in a boiling pot of hot water right there, bro. Like, I don't even like when you say the N-word, nigga. You is from the ultra burbs, boy. <laughs> I like that. I like that take. I like that shit a lot. But that's just me, I guess. Some shit just cringeworthy. You ain't even gotta be deep, I guess. Still love when you see success. Everything with me is blessed. Keep making me dance, waving my hand, and there won't be no threat. I'm what I say? Girls waving their hands and shit. I said that earlier, bruh. Somebody said that I fell off. Ooh, I needed that. Please, Kendrick, do not wave your hand to no Drake, bruh. <laughs> Don't. That's what the bitches is doing. Everything with me is blessed. Keep making me dance, waving my hand, and there won't be no threat. I'm knowing they call you the boy, but where's a man? Because I ain't seen him yet. Matter of fact, I ain't even bleed him yet. Can I bleed him? Bad. When I see you stand by sexy red, I believe you see two bad bitches. Three. I believe you don't like women. It's real competition. You might pop ass That's a three. Let's speak on percentage. Show me your splits. I'll make sure I double back with you. You assigned to a nigga that signed to a nigga that said he was signed to that nigga. Try That's a crazy rebuttal. Your whole song was about dropping give me 50, 50% 50 splits. You're doing so many splits, your pants might rip. Kendrick is like, let's see your splits. You were signed to a nigga that was signed to a nigga that said they were signed to that nigga. Drake was signed to Lil Wayne. Lil Wayne was signed to Birdman. You see what I'm saying? Like, yo. The sword of a thousand truths transcending genres. 
transcending dimensions and timelines strong enough and sharp enough to cut a hole through the fabric of space and time itself. The sword of a thousand truths. Talk to this nigga, K-Dot. I see some assists on the like that record. Oh, what, you ain't like that record? Back to back, I like that record. I'ma get back to that for the record. Why would I call around trying to get turtle, niggas? Y'all thinking my life is rap? That's whole shit, I got a son to raise. But I can see you don't know nothing about that. Okay, bro. He said Drake sent the cease and desist on the Like That record. We don't know if that's true. How could he do that? I don't, I don't believe it, honestly. I don't. Because how? What part? Like, how could he send a cease and desist on the Like That song? How? Somebody in the comments let me know if that has been explained. Because I don't understand that. They didn't use a Drake beat. They didn't use a Drake AI. They didn't use no Drake nowhere. They. I don't even think he said Drake's name in, the, in that song. So how could he send a cease and desist? I don't know. But now he's going into the shit. He's like, bro, I got kids to raise, man. I'm not running around sending out cease and desist. But you don't know nothing about raising no kids. According to what Pusha T said. Man, that's another punch. Sword of a thousand truths. I think of my life is rap. That's whole shit. I got a son to raise. But I can see you don't know nothing about that. Waking them up. Know nothing about that. They tell them to pray. Know nothing about that. They giving them tools to walk through life like day by day. Know nothing about that. Teaching them morals, integrity, discipline. Listen, man. You don't know nothing about that. Speaking the truth and consider what God's considering. You don't know nothing about that. Ain't 20 V. Okay, once again, y'all. You don't know nothing about that. <laughs> It's just, it's another one for the bitches. Like, it's just another one that, like, bitches would, like, you, you, channeling, you channeling your inner bitch. And I don't mean that disrespectfully. Like, I just mean woman. You channeling your inner woman. Like, huh, y'all know nothing about that. Y'all know nothing about that. <laughs> you might as well flip, you might as well flip your hair. Y'all know nothing about that. Like, come on, bruh. Like, come on. Why y'all be doing that, man? This <laughs> shit. I don't, I don't know nothing about that. <laughs> Getting on the song and being like, you don't know nothing about that. I don't know nothing about that, nigga. Uh, teaching the morals, integrity, discipline. Listen, man, you don't know nothing about that. Speaking the truth and consider what God's considering. You don't know nothing about that. Ain't 20 V1, it's 1 V20. If I gotta smack niggas that right with you. Yeah. Like I said earlier in the video, come on, I thought of that. When he said this is a 20 V1, literally on my first listen, I was like, bro. Don't this nigga got writers? That was a three point. Considering you don't know nothing about that. Ain't 20 V1, it's 1 V20. If I gotta smack niggas that right with you. Bars. Yeah, bring them out too. I clean them out too. Tell Bean that he better stay right with you. Am I battling ghosts or AI? Nigga feeling like Joe Hill Austin. Funny he was in a film called AI. And my sixth sense telling me to off him. I'm a brick niggas all in the coffin. Yeah, over whole niggas is dick riders. Tell him run to America to imitate heritage. They can't imitate this violence. What? Ooh, come on, bro. We having country to country beef right now he's at them ovo niggas is dick riders try to run to america to imitate heritage they can't imitate this violence that shit was fire bro that was fire bro that was fire Ovi ho niggas is dick riders tell them run to america to imitate heritage they can't imitate this violence what i learned is niggas hey canadian niggas get down though don't like the west coast and i'm fine with it i'll push the line with it pick a nigga off one at a time with it we can be on a three hour time difference don't uh. speak on the family crody it can get deep in the family crody talk about me and my family crody someone go bleed in your family crody i'll be at new hall king eating fried rice with a dip sauce and a blammy crody tell me your cheese and farm we can do this right now on the camera crody Okay, so if y'all didn't know, right, the New Whole King thing, right? The New Whole King, it's a restaurant in Toronto. It's a Chinese food restaurant. Uh, my homie Crowder put me up on this information, too. Um, he's not just saying, yo, I be in Toronto at this specific restaurant eating food and I ain't worried about shit. He's not just only saying that. So... If you do a little bit of research, right? So the New Whole King, it's they say it's not like super good food, but it's in a grimy area. Like there's been a lot of violence at that restaurant. You know what I'm saying? And um, not only that, but Drake actually got robbed about five minutes up the road from that restaurant. And a lot of people don't know about that. He got robbed for his shit. The people who robbed him actually got caught and um, I think Drake was getting ready to press charges on him or something, but he decided not to 
because he knew he was going to be a famous rapper and he didn't want that on his jacket. He didn't want it to be known that he pressed charges against some niggas, that he snitched on some niggas. So he never pressed charges on them. But Kendrick coming through like, yeah, I'll be at that. I'll be at that one spot. It's kind of like, nigga, me and you know, you and I know what's going on. You feel me? That's like a super, super deep line that Drake, only Drake could take it a certain way. You know what I mean? But, you know, the Internet did they research about that restaurant. And, like, this nigga Kendrick is playing Chinese motherfucking chess on this nigga right now. <laughs> Anyways. The dip sauce and the blammy, Crody. Tell me your cheese and farm. We can do this right now on the camera, Crody. Hey, fuck y'all niggas. I don't trust y'all niggas. I weigh one finger and thump y'all niggas. Like, mm, feel go punk y'all niggas. They punk y'all niggas. Nobody never took my... I love that shit. Ah, thump y'all niggas. Like, mm. I love that, bro. I love the animation, bro. I love the animation. Ah, thump y'all niggas. Like, mm. Fire. I fuck with that. Way one finger and thump y'all niggas like, mm, feel go punk y'all niggas, they punk y'all niggas, nobody never took my food. Whoever that's fucking with them, fuck you niggas and fuck the industry too. If you take it there, I'm taking it further. Psst, that's something you don't wanna do. Woo! Ooh. We don't wanna hear you say nigga no more. Huh. Uh. We don't wanna hear you say nigga no more. Stop. Man, that was crazy. The end of that shit, he said, bro, don't take it there. That's something you don't want to do. And come to find out, he was telling the fucking truth. You did not want to take it there with this man. <laughs> I'm speaking from the future, Drake. Do not do it. You shouldn't have done it. You shouldn't have did it. Somebody should have sent your ass a message from the future and told you to lay down, bro. Just lay down. Keep that shit friendly. Figure it out. Stay roasting his height, but do not go personal. Do not take it there because now we know you really did not want to take it there, man. Okay, there's one more song we need to talk about before the end of round one, and that's Kendrick Lamar's 616 in LA, all right? So when we're looking at this like a battle, uh, a fight or something, man, you got to look at it like this. The Like That song was the warning shot that Drake could have completely ignored and he would have been all right, right? That was just the warning shot. That was the start. That was like the, uh, punch you in your mouth. Is we going to fight or what, right? So then they start, you know, squaring up and Drake came through with the push-ups, blah, blah, blah. And then he directly followed it with the Tupac Snoop Dogg AI song. So then it was Kendrick's turn. He came with Euphoria, and then he came with 616 in L.A. So you got to pit push-ups against Euphoria, and then you got to pit the tailor-made AI freestyle against 616 in L.A., and it makes it a complete round one. So let's go ahead and listen to that. Uh, yeah. It's survival, survival. I don't know what the fuck he's talking about. Man, I don't know what the fuck you just said, little kid. But you special, man. You reached out and you touched it by the heart. <laughs> I don't, bruh. It sound good. 
Tell me who gon' stop me I come from love, that's still Cover my heart, then open me up Remember when I picked up a pin Lyrics that I can trust, Timmy so Staring in the mirror, asking where I was from often I know this type of power is gon' cost But I live in circadian rhythms of a shooting star The mannerisms of Raphael like me only give you heart But the industry's cooked as I pick the carcass apart Yeah, somebody's lying, I can see the vibe Some act, he, he looking compromised Let's peel the layers back all right, now we talking. He just had to roll out with like some shit about the sun and the moon and the stars and all of this crazy neo soul shit. I don't know what he was talking about, but now he talking shit. He said even act looking compromised because at the time DJ Academics was was kind of like jocking Drake. <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> he said even act looking compromised. Let's pull the layers back. Any brownie points will be in your chest, harassing and fucking with good people, make good people go to bed. Conspiracies about cash, dog, that's not even the leak. Find the shoes like cash, dog, I just need you to think. Are you finally ready to play? Have you ever, let's see, have you ever thought that OVO was working for me? Fake good. Man, yo, that, that shit felt like battle rap right there. Let's play a game, I swear to God. Right, if you watch battle rap, they always do. Let's play a game, I swear to God. Kendrick said, you want to play a game or have you ever, have you ever thought about OVO might be working for me? What you mean, man? What you mean? I feel like, and this is just my opinion, he was applying some uh, internal uh, pressure right there for no good reason. <laughs> the play, have you ever, let's see, have you ever thought that OVO was working for me? Fake bully, I hate bullies, you must be a terrible person. Everyone inside your team is whispering that you deserve it. Can't pussy slide up out of this one, it's just gonna be surface. Every dog gotta have his day, now live in your purpose. I like that, bro. Every nigga on your team is saying that you deserve it. I like that, bro. I like that shit, because it be like that sometime, bro. It be like that sometime, bro. You might be so much of a douchebag that your own homies is like, oh, yeah, I couldn't wait till that nigga got his, right? And them is bitch niggas, by the way, right? Like, your homie's supposed to ride with you no matter what, you know what I mean? But, uh, I mean, who even knows if that's true? I don't really know the ins and outs of Drake and his crew like that, but I... I thought that was a, a cool take. Wait, that nigga said, let's see you Tootsie Slide out of this shit, because that nigga Drake got a, t a, a dance called the Tootsie Slide, right? <laughs> Fake bully, I hate bullies. You must be a terrible person. Everyone inside your team is whispering that you deserve it. Can't just slide up out of this one, it's just gonna be surface. Every dog gotta have his day, now live in your purpose. It was fun until you start to put money in the streets. They lost money cause they came back with no receipts. I'm sorry that I live a boring life. I love peace, but war ready if the world is ready to see you bleed. He said, You put money in the streets and they came back with no receipts. I did hear a story. It was it was like on YouTube or World Star Hip, Hip Hop or something. There was a guy who claimed uh, he was in contact with Drake or Drake's people. And he told Drake and them that he had dirt on Kendrick and Drake's people. I don't know if it was Drake or his people. They paid this man a bunch of thousands of dollars for some information. And dude gave him fake information. And, and then the guy jumps on the internet and brags about how he gave Drake fake information for money. Yes, that's out there. The Elohim KTW, no you can't sleep, these images trouble you. Know the wires in your circle should puzzle you. If you were street smart, then you would have caught that your entourage is only to hustle you. A hundred niggas that you got on salary, and twenty of them want you as a casualty. And one of them is actually next to you, and two of them is practically tired of your lifestyle. Just don't got the audacity to tell you, but let me tell you some game, cause I can see you, my little homie. You playing dirty with propaganda, he blow up on you. You playing nerdy with Zach Beer and Twitter bots, but he is talking right now bro and i i feel like and this is just personally i feel like kendrick right now is lying on the sword because like you know nothing ever came of this you know oh you got 100 niggas on your team 20 of them want you as a casualty one of them is sitting right next to you and i it's like i like it bro because you applying pressure but at the same time is that true? What came of that? Like, how was that any type of true at all? You know, I was hoping somewhere later on in the beef that would have been addressed, but I don't think it was. So, uh, hey, don't lie on the sword. 
Don't lie on the sword of a thousand truths. But your reality can't hide behind Wi-Fi. Your little means is losing steam. They figured you out. The first opinions is not convincing. Y'all need a new route. It's time that you look around on who's around you. Before you figure that you're not alone, ask what Mike would do. Huh. Okay. Okay, because, you know, in the past, part of this, like, oh, Prince outlived Mike Jack. There's this whole, like, Drake is Michael Jackson, Kendrick is Prince. So it's like, before you figure that you're not alone, you know, you're not alone, the, the Michael Jackson song, that's what Mike would do. Huh, that was fire. I mean, it was cool. It was all right. It was cool. Um, I got to say it was better than the Tupac AI shit. You know what I'm saying? I got to say that. It wasn't better than push-ups, obviously. Euphoria was better than push-ups. But um, this 616 in LA, it, it it had to be a direct, like, oh, he dropped two? Then I'm going to drop two. You know what I'm saying? So anyways, man, that's it, bro. That's round one. Thank y'all for sticking it through with me, man, and watching this whole video if you did. Make sure you like and subscribe to the channel. And I'm going to be back with round two. And y'all know it got real greasy during round two. So I can't wait. It's your boy G Mo Ski, a.k.a. the African Honey Badger. And we gone. Don't ever.